like when it comes to wearing at least i'm not gonna be uncomfortable in something because it looks cute no never so Welcome back to another video from Jet J Inspired, and I'm Ebony. Um, today we are doing a shoe haul. So excited, they are all heels. Um, I wanna say all four inch and up, and I am a size 11 Bigfoot Girl Crew. Cute things are hard to find for me, so I was just like super excited when I found all these shoes. But um, stick in for the review, because kind of important okay <laughs> all right y'all so the first shoe we're gonna discuss today is this fatty um I fell in love with them on site through the picture and stuff and I do still love them when they're here I'd say they got pretty decent grip but um I'm also learning about the quality of things so these these weren't cheap like I shouldn't say that. These weren't expensive, but they weren't cheap. Like they weren't $20, but they weren't $120. You know what I mean? So these all hit around $50, $60. And um, from vlogs and things that I've been watching throughout the week, I've peeped that more expensive shoes have better grip material or just grip situations in general. And I would say that that rings true for all of these shoes. Now the grip is, normal in these so i do like these i can wear these um and they're super cute they're snake print and then these little tinkies here <laughs> they're so fun um when i first put the shoes on i kind of just let those um wrap around sit however they want it to sit and i didn't like how the shoe looked and like i didn't like it enough to where i told myself i was going to send it back but then a couple days later, I tried it on again and I kind of like just played with them and twist them a little more and they fit me in a way that I was okay with. So we kept those. Also, I'm not with this raise in my voice, but I, I truly believe that all of these shoes are from the brand Kate Robin. Um, that's the seller or the company that I bought these shoes from on Amazon. Okay, these shoes are by a company called Miss Heel. M-I-S-S-H-E-E-L. And it doesn't look like there's a space in it. Okay, so these ones though are from Kate Robin and they were pretty comfortable. I don't remember having any downside to these. Um, I like the heel. I like how um, heels are starting to be like straight, straight. That's that's really what drew my eye to the last ones. Like, I just love it, love it, love it. Now we're gonna discuss Kate Robin and these soles a little later. But um, as for these shoes, these were really cute. And um, since I've paid good money for bad shoes before, I'm very satisfied <laughs> with these. I feel like the price, very easy. All right. Next, we have these, also Cape Robin. Um, and I just thought that these were the cutest thing. Um, oh my goodness. They are alligator print. I love the little, I guess, half rings you call this inside I love the heel like I said I'm really with this style that people have been doing and I recently shifted over to stiletto um normally I prefer heels like the last shoe which is more block like but Queen Ree <laughs> and then I got one pair of stiletto boots and they were really comfortable so I was like I thought they were gonna be uncomfortable that's why I was staying away from stilettos um they weren't that hard to walk in either so I'm like Hmm, maybe these are just all myths that I have up in my head. But for these shoes, my only downside, mm, 
incorrect i got two downsides for these shoes this material up here is a little wide for my foot um it's just wide in general so like my foot my toes are like moving around a little bit in them and um I don't think that going down a size would help because then they'd be too small. So that's, I wouldn't say like a full issue, but that's something that I wasn't the biggest fan of. But this is an issue. You see how shiny that is? I don't even know if shine got anything to do with it, but this really lets me know off rip that these are mad slippery. Mad slippery. Let's see, these are old shoes. You see there? The second I stepped on smooth ground, I slid, okay? So I may have to take these somewhere and get the bottom frictioned up because I will say these are the most slidey shoes. Like there's no grip. There's no grip. I'm sliding them on my couch and it feels like smooth plastic. Just moving, moving. Um, but yeah, they're really cute just need some help functionality wise um next we have these also from cape robin now i did wear these ooh, i did not like my voice right there i did wear these in a try on haul earlier this week but they have not left the house so they have only been worn inside um the grip is decent decent um, much better than the black ones. The black ones are the worst. But we can talk about their details here, okay? Um, like I said, I only wore this for a, a haul. That haul, I think, I might have been in these boot, these shoes on and off, okay? For maybe like 20, 30 minutes, all right? I checked the sole and it, it was like this before the haul was even done. So, um, I don't know how other shoes work with that, but I did think that that was a really quick fade away for these. Um, secondly, I noticed that the insole was starting to move or like stick to my foot when I pulled it out. I don't know if y'all can see like right here. Yeah, so. That's what I was thinking. So I was watching um, a vlog with Aaliyah's face and she was talking about, um, I think they were some Bottega shoes and she was like, no shoes have ever done this before so I'm thinking they're knockoffs. And she thought like everything was legit because of the um, sewing marks, right? And I'm over here like, hmm, I see the stitchings and then it's just like, hmm. So you just stitch around the single fabric and then you put the glue where the stitch is to make it look like the stitch is what's holding it. So they definitely took cheaper routes because that that's just so unnecessary. Like I haven't even left the house <laughs> in these shoes, if you understand what I'm saying. And they're like i know for a fact that the sole is not sturdy and that it's probably going to peel up so that is unfortunate because i did like these shoes and they are real i would say these are the most comfortable out of all of them um but hopefully um that's as far as it goes on this if not i can take it to a shoe place you know whatever get extra stuff done for the thing that i bought but, yeah, these shoes are cute though. Oh, and um, Amazon, oh I shouldn't say that, Kate Robin sends backup heel bottoms. So each pair of shoes from Kate came with extra one of these little things at the bottom. A set, not just one, a set. These are the first shoes actually that I bought in this little haul um, and I just fell in love. I was like, oh, they rock with my skin tone. I like the heel, I like the design and the straps, da 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 da, it's all cute. Okay, so, 
This shoe was a little disappointing. I will say because I wanted, I wanted them to fit. They fit like the length of my foot great. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. But all of the straps, <laughs> every last strap is too big. Each one, like even the one with all my toes in it is a little big. This one's way too big. And this one was like, it was like, it's more than one wrap, but it's less than two wraps and it's still huge. Like you can't maneuver a way around it. And I'm really just like, I'm really stuck. Cause I could not find a way to tighten these the way I needed to tighten them. And like taking them off, I just slipped it back. I just slipped it back off and took my foot out. What? That's how it's supposed to work if that's how the shoe's supposed to work. These are not supposed to be slip off shoes. Buckles, it shouldn't be like with ease, like no resistance. That's, that's a problem. So what I'm thinking is, I'm so upset. I don't think anyone can shorten this, but maybe we can put some more holes in this one and either allow me to double wrap or figure some other situation out. But they're really cute. Oh my gosh, I did not want, I wanted these to work most of all. These are not Cape Robin. Okay, these are Only Maker. Heels by Only Maker. And yeah, that's all I got. That's also one word, but um, God, I was looking forward to those. Okay, and the last shoes for the day. Ooh, they are so gorgeous. Are these strappy beauties? Okay. Um, these are, um, these are Lishan, L-I-S-H-A-N. That is the name of the company who sold them on Amazon. And, ah, uh, before I actually walked around in them, I told myself I was going to wear these shoes with this outfit because, like, it just goes so freaking well. However, comma... <laughs> Similar to the orange shoes, these have a, just an oversized issue. Okay, so I haven't adjusted it since I took it off. I couldn't use any of the holes because they were too big for my ankles. So I just pulled the whole little um, strap through until it switched from one to the other. And, um, I just did that to get it to actually secure this part around my foot. Now, this was big. <laughs> this was big. These naturally were to wrap around, but walking felt really unnatural in these. And that's not what I was looking for. Like, like I had to change my gait a few different ways to walk in these. Like at the test, I went to go switch out the battery that was in the charger and put a new battery in it. And I didn't want to do any more walking in these shoes. That is disappointing because I was looking, I was looking forward to these. Like what? I actually might return these because I already know that the comfort isn't there. and. Comfort period for Ebony. Comfort period for Ebony, okay? Like, when it comes to wearing, at least, I'm not gonna be uncomfortable in something because it looks cute. No, never. So, they gotta go back. <laughs> and I gotta find some different shoes to wear with this outfit. It is what it is, it's life, okay? I just wanna thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope you had some takeaways. I don't know. Um, something that was beneficial to you is what I'm trying to say. 
um hope it wasn't just a you know waste of your time prayers but thank you for watching and um but yeah that's it for this haul i hope that you took something away from it and that maybe it helps you with your shopping cart what you're gonna need da, 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 da. um if you have places that sell cute shoes for big feet please let me know oh since i said that okay these ones are european so i wear a 42 in european measuring and an 11 in women's but honestly i range from a, a 10 to an 11 but you, you know how you figure out how your feet usually fit shoes and then you can pick your one size that you try to shoot for out of three sizes. It just depends, but just just know I'm, I'm big foot. Sometimes I'm 10, sometimes I'm 11. All of these were 11 and or 42. I hope 42 is 11. But, um, dang, now I gotta check. Ah, size 11 is a 42 and a half. So this is a ten and a half in women. Interesting. But nonetheless, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time, okay?